Hi, I'm Prakya, the HMS developer from Huawei India Research Center. Welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to explain about Pushkit and show its integration steps in WCAP. Pushkit is a mobile service provided by Huawei to send messages from cloud to mobile devices in real time. It helps to increase the user engagement and activity with a particular app. It has features like global coverage, serves 230 plus countries, high delivery rate, instant reach, precision, etc. It supports two types of messages, notification messages and data messages. After receiving messages on the device, notification messages are displayed in notification panel, but the data messages are passed to the app instead of displaying it. The app then passes the message and triggers the corresponding action. Now let us get coding. Open and sign in to Huawei developer website. Go to console app gallery connect open my apps. Click on new app. Set the package type as RPK quick app. Enter the app information. Select Add to Project and click OK. Go to My Project. Select Manually Enter Package Name. Enter the package name and save. Set the data processing location. Go to Grow, Push Kit. Enable the Pushkit service. Open the Huawei Quick App IDE. Go to File, New Project, Quick App. Select a template and start creating a project. Go to Tools, Certificate. If the formal signature file of the RPK does not exist, the system will prompt to create a signature file. Click Create. Copy the certificate fingerprint. Go to the Project General Information section in App Gallery Connect. Add the certificate fingerprint. Click the Manage API tab and switch on the Push Kit toggle if it is not enabled. In the Quick App IDE, add the service.push feature in the manifest.json file. Design the screen. Import the service push in script and define the instance. Call the on API and pass the callback function to receive the payload of a data message. Call get provider. Check if the provider type is as expected or not. Call subscribe API. Get the token in the success callback. Copy the token to be used in the service side to send notification. Now the coding is completed. Let's try it out to do that. Open newly installed quick app. Switch on the push notification toggle button. It will subscribe the push message. Tap on get token, it will display the token. You can use this token to push message from App Gallery Console. Go to the project in App Gallery Console. Go to Grow, Push Kit. Click on Add Notification. 
enter the details. Select the push scope as specified device. Put the device token. Check send to fast app debugger option. Click on submit. We will get the notification in the app. Well, that's all for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit Huawei Developer website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.